Hello, dear friends. I'm quite excited with this digital camera. So let's take a look and see how we can zoom in and zoom out, because um, this camera is relatively smart. But um, today, last time, uh, I bought it yesterday because. The day before yesterday, my camera was broken, and uh, and uh, usually you you need to think a lot before buying a camera, although it is not so expensive. But、uh, I am just not so used to spending money. But、uh, on the other hand, I'm thinking I need to buy it and.、Uh, Without camera, I cannot make video, and、uh, I start to not use、uh, my cell phone to make video. Even iPhone has、uh, quite a decent quality. I still try to avoid using、uh, cell phone because I think、um, I should be more responsible with my video quality. Uh, I respect you. I respect the people who watch my video, so I try as much as I can, and、uh, sufficiently、uh, improve the quality of my video. So <clears throat> I bought a new camera, and this camera should be able to zoom, and I think it does not have much、uh, noise. It does not have very much of noise of zooming noise. So first, let me change the distance the, of the the paper. So I think it's zooming in now. It、uh, looks at a very close distance. Now I put it afar. So after some time, it can change its zoom, and now. Are we in the right zoom? I think so. Okay, let me lift up the camera a little bit more. Okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> too sudden. So this is a very close zoom, very close zoom. Now very far. After some time, it can zoom. And、um, maybe I will do my rolling my eyes that method. So I would like to use this chance to talk about something that、uh, today really give me something,、um, something more、uh, inspiring experience. It starts that、um, that、uh, I was in class. I teach two classes of this painting, and.、Uh, I have already done this, and it's a, it is quite a, a, a successful method. So first, you cut the paper. You have you must have already seen a video of how this made. So I show this picture to students and、uh, show the painting method, covering up with paper cutting and、uh, and the whole. Process. So one class students, they watched, and then they made. They did their color. I give them a blue, green, and yellow color. So they played around with blue, green color, yellow color, and white and black. So the painting comes out is really very. Very, very eye-pleasing, very beautiful. So at least they learn the method, and、uh, when they do it through practicing, they they have learned the method, and they have their own creative way, and their their creativity is within a boundary. What do I say? It's、uh, it's guided. So at least they learned a method. And、uh, and some students with, but but each student has its own style. And next time, I am very sure that they have learned a new method. They have put their hands onto this method. They 
get their hands dirty and try this method. I'm very happy with it. And then the other class came and uh, I was about to show this method. I was about to mount, to show this video, to play this video, the student told me. I know this method. I have seen, they have seen the end of the other class, one minute or something, five, two minutes, three minutes. And they did not see the whole process. They did not see much. And uh, the student said, oh, we know this method and uh, we don't need to watch this video. And this was immediately, I was so offended and uh, I don't know, maybe because I am so, so narrow-minded at that moment. So I was thinking, okay, you don't need me to show you, then I do not show you. So the students went by themselves to their method. They thought they know the method, but they didn't see the whole process. Say, so they actually used their own method. So they put one layer of color, another layer of color, another of layer of color, another layer of color. So they have chosen neon color, yellow, pink, red, blue, purple, white. Anyway, whichever color they can find, they have put it on and make many, many lines. And, um, and then use white to cover it up before the neon color goes to be, uh, to be, uh, to dry it. I was, um, at the beginning, I, I think, I, I have to admit, at the beginning I was quite narrow-minded and I was offended by, by their way of saying this, I do not need to, to, to be taught, I can know, they, they know what they do. And then I was thinking, as a teacher, I could not do that, I could not, just because people are rude to me, people are, uh, uh, no, not rude. People uh, are more confident of themselves. They should have the right to be confident. That I still should teach them. I, well, should I beg? Should I beg them to teach them? Anyway, yeah, this is, I, I cannot figure this one out. But anyway, I was feeling bad, not, uh, not, uh, um, guiding them, not teaching them. And um, the painting came out, uh, what do I say? It's, uh, it's not as pretty as the other class who has learned the method. But on the other hand, it's actually quite eye-opening. And uh, I can see their method has a reason um, their method also has a reason. You can do whichever way you like. Some method proved to be more effective, but uh, it does not, uh, it should not stop people trying different things. Here, let's say my method may be more effective in showing this, but their method could be potentially very effective if it is used the right way. Actually, I want to try their way also, not try their way. At least it opened up my eye. This painting can be done in such a way, and it can be done in another way. So, and this one brings me a lot of other thoughts. Let me bring something more fun for us to enjoy. Um, let me see if I have other painting around. Oh, 
I have bought a new plate. Let me show you my new plate. No, I will show you those gadget things sometime later. Let me just talk about these educational things. So I was thinking there are many ways of doing things. Do not think you are the best way, you are the only way. I have never think I am the best way or the only way. But uh, just uh, allowing people to be themselves, it might be a way to open up our own eyes and um, this couple of days or last week it was extremely stressful it was just extremely stressful and uh, too many things clucked together happening at the same time and uh, every night I I usually, I hate to sleep. I do not like to sleep, not really hate. I do not like to sleep. I know a lot of people against this opinion and think I'm quite, uh, uh, I agree that I'm quite, uh, quite uh, silly on, on, on this. I do not like to sleep, but last, last week, I needed to sleep and had no time to sleep. Yeah, no need to complain. And um, I was thinking, uh, when we are angry, when we are, when we are angry, or when we are excited, too excited, when our mind, our heart, when our 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 brain is not in a cool calm situation we could not make right decision and it is very very um, we often end up making wrong decision if we cannot uh, make ourselves calm down and uh, so many things happen and we will regret we will really regret for that and yesterday when I was driving and I put my music in a loud voice and uh, then suddenly I feel that it was too loud and uh, when something outside stimulus, outside environment stimulates us and make us too excited make us out of our comfort zone, out of our calm zone, we cannot make right decision. When we are driving, we make too big noise, too loud noise, we make wrong decision. And uh, we cannot brake at the right time or something. So avoid ourselves. We should really warn ourselves very often that uh, do not when there is time when it is time to make decision calm down calm down it does not help to be angry it does not help to to be stressed to be uh, stressed or, or in a rush because it cannot make things better. When we are in class, sometimes the students too excited, the whole class out of control. Imagine 10, 20 young students, 10 years old. It is very hard to control. And um, especially at this time, it is very, very important that we keep a very cool mind, very calm mind. And um, when, when we are too excited, we make wrong decision. And the teachers, we cannot afford to be angry in class. I mean, things, there are times 
there are situations that really, really make us so, so, so angry. We are human. We are human. And at this time, I think we should, uh, no matter teacher or whatever job you do, no matter uh, what things you do, even no matter you are a parent, you are a child, you are whatever, make sure um, be calm, calm down, and uh, be cool, calm, relaxed. Otherwise, we end up make wrong decision, and we we will regret for the wrong decision we made. And it is not good. It is better we avoid things before it happens. And um, find a way to, to channel our anger, to channel our stress. And uh, sometimes when things really stressful, it is hard to 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 channel it out just uh, uh, for example do something harmlessly do something cry scream when there is nobody cry in the toilet cry in your own bedroom I do not cry that often and uh, scream I do not scream that often hear something, break an old plate, and uh, run, and, uh, and um, well, and uh, stomp the floor, and uh, hit your left hand with your right hand, and do something not harmful, but, uh, but release your anger, find a way to release your anger and uh, throw rock on another rock that um, that do not uh, endanger any other people, endanger any other things, and find a safe place, throw some pillow, whatever. Find a way to, to, to release your anger, you channel out your anger, and also find some, some time, some... Uh, some method to to do the things you like to do game if you like game to to go online if you like if that is the way to check facebook check some things if that is the way to relax yourself a little bit find a way to do that and um, find a few minutes to do that and uh, and read a book, if read book can relax you. Each person is different. Some people more relaxed by reading book, some people more relaxed by playing game, whichever way. And uh, do not um, do not uh, um, over overuse, do not uh, um, do not uh, do something too much. Everything is good with moderation. Anyway, I was just, I think last week, I was so stressed, so um, angry. I think because it's stressed and we feel desperate, we feel disappointed of our own self. We cannot control our own life. That kind of desperation, that kind of stress is really, it's very depressing. And uh, and uh, so I, the whole week I wanted to make this video, I wanted to talk to you about this. So today I had uh, this new camera. <laughs> I want to see how it catch the sound and catch the image. And um, I really, really want to uh, do not be stressed. Do not be stressed. It doesn't help to be angry. 
when we are angry, we make wrong decision and we will regret. Do not make decision that make you regret in the future. Do not be angry. Does not worth it. Okay. We live a happy life. We make sure we live a happy life. So this is the thought starting from this piece of painting. Actually, I have learned a lot of things from this. I have learned at least opened up my eye and I see what works better and what, what works not so well. And uh, there is no mistake in art. So the one that didn't work well, maybe we can improve and use the so-called wrong method or not so effective method and find a way to improve it. And that's the seed for us to make an outstanding work. Failure is the mother of success. I wish you a very comfortable, happy, every day. Bye-bye, friends. Thank you. I love you, I really do. <laughs> I think I will put this one on my online shop. If you, if you like it, you can have it. And uh, sometimes, uh, this is another thing about this painting, make sure sometimes less is more. There are only three colors in this painting. Green, yellow, yellow, green, and blue. Purple, blue. I think only three colors. Four colors. Yeah. Three colors. And But when you blend them together in a gradual, in a, in a very relaxed. This painting look, I think it looks quite relaxed, quite calm, because it's not too much. It is kind of, myself, I feel it's, it's a balanced and it's a relaxed color. It's not so passionate that like this one. See, this one is very passionate. This one is really very cool. The whole color tone is cool. Sometimes you put cool and cold color and hot color together and not combining it in the right way. So often time we do not have the experience to combine this color. It takes practice to know the nature of color, to know the nature of things. And these colors, they have their own nature. You can marry them, but you cannot force marry them. Once you, you follow the nature of color and, and gradually, nicely, and negotiate with the color and make it, uh, make it right, it can be beautiful. But if you force it just without experience, without practicing, and only with your idea, force a marriage, force the color to put on the paper, it may not turn out to be good. It's not pleasant to the eyes. And uh, making art, making painting, one of the very important things is, is to make it pleasant and make it uh, make us feel, make us get an energy, get a feeling out of that painting. So, let me stop here. So, I hope uh, you can, this, this uh, blah 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 can take you to a restful evening, take you to a to a nice sleep or maybe provoke you some nice thoughts 
Let me stop here. Bye bye, friends, again. Thank you. Bye bye.